Okay guys, basically this is how you're going to get your uh, bearded dragon to eat if it's not accepting veggies that you want it to eat. Um, this is probably one of the easiest ways to get your dragon to eat if it's not eating, but um, a lot of times, especially when it's growing, you shouldn't expect it to. You should expect it to definitely eat more live things that are going to make it grow, such as mealworms or crickets or you know pinky mice or other things like that as it grows on. Um, but right now, I decided it's time for Liz to start getting bigger amounts of all kinds of fruits and veggies. So, right now we have some chopped up Rome apples some um, chopped up bell peppers some black grapes and some lettuce, the outer side of the lettuce you know like the, the greener part alright Okay guys, now what you're going to want to do is turn some water on and take the bowl filled with the grapes and the bell peppers and all that good stuff and you're going to, going to kind of hold your hand over it, wash it all off, um, not with hot water though. Just do the best you can. Alright, you should have some nice rinsed off veggies there for your lizard. Just try to get it as dry as possible. You might even want to take a paper towel. And wipe it off a little bit and get it as dry as you possibly can. And now what we're going to do to try to get the lizard to eat it, we're going to take some nice mealworms mixed up in the powder and we're going to dump the mealworms directly into this. And no matter the size of the dragon, um, you may want to take smaller mealworms and put a lot more mealworms in there and, you know, just get it mixed up in there. So, um, you know, um, they're trying, you know, they'll try to pick the mealworms out of there, especially if you have a pickier dragon when you're trying to get them to eat the greens. And um, it'll help you out a lot because they'll try to pick every little tiny mealworm they can out of there. And they'll end up eating the greens along with the mealworms. And now, since this is a corner plate, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to stick it right in here and of course your lizard should already be curious of what you just put in the cage which she is Now, see, she's trying to get the mealworms out, and she's eating everything else along with it. But, of course, since these mealworms are bigger, she's going to be able to, um, you know, pick them out. Of course, bearded dragons work on movement, so she's trying to find her best way to get the worms out of there. And if you guys noticed, I've put this um, this bowl on the cooling side of the cage. I've just put a lamp over it right now so you guys can see it a little bit better because of the light. Um, this is the cooling part of the cage. That's the basking area over there. Um, I just put this light over here so you guys can see it. Of course, you're going to want to put this bowl in your cooling area so, you know, the, the veggies stay good, you know, longer.
Whoops, another nice green luscious piece of n nutritious lettuce. And guys, this will go on for a very long time. It can also entertain your dragon. And, of course, it can entertain you too. And finally, one of the mealworms. Okay, guys, well, basically that's it.